Diablo 4 is the next generation of action RPG, melding monster slaying and loot collecting with a fully realized open world. It's not for the faint of heart. It's gory and unnerving. It's creepy. Diablo 4 is all about player choice. It takes all of the pillars of a Diablo game and just expands them with all of the new features that people really love and appreciate in modern games. Hopefully not the pay to win portion. Whoever you see yourself being <laughs> you can create in Diablo 4. It's important to include robust character customization because then I can play the fantasy that I want to play. It looks and good. It allows you to switch around your playstyle as well. Everything feels very powerful and fun. One of the really cool things about having an open world is the journey that you take through. Open world? Your own. There's no linear path that you have to follow. We've hmm. got almost 150 dungeons in the game. Okay. There's all kinds of surprises as you're exploring. Strongholds are an enemy territory that you need to reclaim. But you might have a space that begins as a hostile area, but after you've cleared it out... The evil in this place has been cleansed. It now becomes a friendly town. Kind of it's a new town, sometimes basic. it's a new dungeon. Open There's a whole world bunch stuff. Of rewards that you get, and you have a real impact on the world as a result. No, you can't leave us here. They might come back any moment. Local events are really cool little story segments that happen within the open world. You'll just be running through the world, and then a local event will pop up, and you can choose to participate it's in it. It's all typical open world or stuff. Group together and just wail on these like giant world bosses. That's cool. These are events that take a lot of people, and you really have to work together. Being able to see all the players on your screen collaborating, trying to take this big monster down, it's, it's epic. It's so easy to create a community. It makes Diablo more of a social experience. We've got fully enabled crossplay. If you have an Xbox and your buddy has a PC, you're going to be able to group up. Yeah, they and made it more gritty. Two people right, on the couch can sit there and have a great experience. So that's good. We've created specific zones where players can engage in PvP. If you go there, you can start swinging away at people. But uh, you're also opening yourself up to being swung at. But that that didn't turn out good like, last really, really time. Really good. The game actually marks you as like a champion on the map. You basically become a loot pinata and everyone wants to chase you down. So it's within the open world? The last story mission is really the beginning of a whole different part of the journey. Now you're set up for the end game, and that end game is rich with things to do that allow Diablo you to get Immortal, more, more powerful. I haven't Whether really it's played new much. items or new dungeons or new paragon boards, every single time you come back to play Diablo 4, there's going to be new stuff for you to experience. And it's something that we're going to support for years to come. I'm really excited for folks to get their hands on Diablo 4 just to see millions of people really enjoying the different options. Through the campaign, local events, couch co-op, end game, PvP, it almost doesn't end. And we are so close. Nice. I didn't see a skill tree. Local events. Couch co-op. End game. PvP. Oh, here it is. Paragon boards. Yeah, that looks like a paragon boards, like a skill tree of paragons. Similar to what? That's path, right? You headed to bed, Panzer? We'll catch you later. You'll probably be up and I'll still be streaming or something. Dude, that looks good, bro.
That looks real good. That looks good. That looks good. I'm excited. Let's do it. I love Di Diablo. Really disappointed with Diablo Immortal. I like the, uh, I, some of the open world stuff is very typical. Um, which is a little disappointing, but overall. Every single time you come <coughs> back to play Diablo 4, there's going to be new stuff for you to experience. And it's something that we're going to support for years to come. If, I'm really excited if Microsoft, to get their hands on Diablo. If Microsoft takes over for him, I think we're in really, really good shape. Hey, thanks for the subscriptions, guys. Was that uh, gifted subscriptions? Hell yeah. Thanks for the gifted. Fun vampire with five community sub gifts, putting us at 78 out of the 100 sub goal. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah, so like, I think with Microsoft taking over Blizzard, I think it's going to be a lot better, right? And hopefully, like, even if Diablo 4 comes out and it's a little left up, it gets better. I feel like Diablo Immortal, like, I'm not going to play it until they fix a lot of what they did. Four. Just to see millions of... Endgame. PvP. It almost doesn't end. I'm worried NBA about PvP bucks. being any good. Love it. Uh, probably just ignore PvP. If it's not balanced, obviously you have to ignore it. The problem is like, if they try to force balancing, then it fucks up the rest of the game. Like that's what happened in Diablo 3, right? Yeah, Microsoft bought Blizzard. Um, I think... It hasn't finished their... It hasn't finished over. Uh, yeah, this was announced February 4th. Microsoft to acquire Activision Blizzard. So, good news is Diablo 4 might be a part of Game Pass, right? Yeah, it's going to bolster their Game Pass portfolio. Which, like, bro, can you imagine, like, World of Warcraft, you no longer have to pay a separate subscription, and it's just part of the $15 Game Pass a month? And then if Microsoft is like, okay, guys, now you don't have to worry about doing that. Make the game fucking good again. What if WoW is good again? What if retail WoW is good again? Like for real, bro. God damn. And they give us like updated fucking Diablo 4, like seasons and all that. Dude, it's going to be so good, man. Because like Microsoft's already been killing it on Game Pass. Like they get that shit, bro. Come on. Come on. And then Activision can go drown in their own Call of Duty shit for the next 30 years. And die off. Like, I don't know what they're going to do, but. Yep. That happened.